And it's not a combo, it's just a straight new jean. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Let me tell you something about what's going on today. We're gonna get right down to business here. We've landed again in beautiful Turtle Lake, California, and I'm at a hotel. There's, okay, I wanna tell you a story about this hotel. I once filmed a video about this hotel and about the traveling I did to get to this hotel. Miguel over at Always Evolving Python said that it was his favorite video that I've ever done to date. I think he watched it like a hundred times or something crazy like that. So I think it'd be worth checking out if you haven't seen it already. I'm gonna put the link right up here for it, right? This side? I can never remember which side that little thing comes out. When I tell you that I'm putting a link and I point to a corner, there's a little eye and a little card that pops out. And at any point during the video, if you're on a phone, if you're watching on your computer, I don't think it works on the TV, but phone or computer, if you tap the screen and that you see a little eye, it's there for the whole video. You can click on it, tap on it, and there'll be a little drop down of up to five things that I put in that little spot for you guys to check out. And you can check it out or you can not. But like I said, according to one man, the best video I've ever filmed is up there in that eye, so go find it. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been uploading videos every day at this point, and I'm kind of just testing it out on myself to see if I, I can do a video every day here, because that means I'm putting out nine videos a week. You know, one on the Freedom Breeder channel, one on, one on Triple B TV, and then one every day here. So it's kind of a lot to keep up with, and I don't, I don't want to like drive myself crazy because you know mental health is actually it's an issue. You know, not for me, but I don't want it to become one. We'll see how it goes. I'll play it by ear, and I'll just keep uploading as as much as I see fit. We're going to go back to Freedom Breeder, catch up with Jesse because we missed him yesterday, and Jimmy as well. And then I'm going to a uh, guy, my buddy Todd Cornwell's place tonight. He does a lot of reptile rescue stuff. We're going to film an episode of Triple B over there. So yeah, all right, welcome, welcome guys, welcome back, let's go. All right, so I'm, I'm outside the shop, but before I go inside, I just want to say one more time, the reason that I wouldn't be able to keep doing videos every day, I just feel like I could come up with an excuse for a reason not to, you know what I mean? And, and, and I don't want to have excuses, I just I don't want there to be excuses. Not that there aren't potentially really good excuses, why not, you know? There's plenty of good excuses that potentially exist out there, but I, I don't want to have any. No excuses! No excuses! What about it? Maui. What about Maui? You look like Maui. I look like Maui? From Moana? Comment down below. Is it true? So Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm trying to film a Triple B TV episode with Jimmy, a Snakes with Friends episode. Probably for, I mean, I, th I wanna say it's been like half a year? That might be calling it like, short i feel like it's been longer than that not that i've been trying like every week but i feel like i've tried once and you're like oh my house is a mess and then another time you're like oh now i'm moving and then you're in the new house and then we're supposed to do it today and what's happening now i have to go to la <laughs> so guys tell me we got a theme going on today right what's the theme what's the theme no excuses i have, ex I have excuses is it a valid excuse yes why are you going to LA when we're supposed to be doing a video? It was brought up last minute. I had no, I can't get out of it. Does he seem like he's concerned about at all for the time that I've wasted to come out here? <laughs> it's never time wasted here at, at oh, That's all right. He got it. He's got. He's got a point. It's always a good time. Oh, ah! Are you ready, Don? I was born ready. He's born ready. No excuses, this man. Or is it? Or is he full of it, Jesse? Obviously full, but he's just standing here. I'm on the phone with your dad. That's oh, important. Oh man. What's your excuse? My excuse? My hair looking shabby. <laughs> a little my, bit, a little my bit. My hair. I need a haircut. I, I messaged this guy this morning, like, are you ready? Like let me know when you're ready. He's like, oh he's like, I'm I'm feeling shabby. I need a I need a haircut. Excuses! <laughs> Jesse's gonna do a video where he's gonna answer all you guys' questions. He does those on the Freedom Breeder channel. If you're not subscribed to the Freedom Breeder channel, go check it out. He answers you guys' questions once a month. And this week, he's gonna get a haircut and get, answer the questions at the same time because that's how busy he is. Uh, nobody does shit like this in snake rooms. I guess the real question for you guys right now is, can you handle seeing Freedom Breeder snakes two days in a row? Can you? Because if you can't, this whole daily thing's off. And it's not a combo, it's just a straight new gene. But look at it look at the way the alien heads are joined together on the dorsal and coming across and creating this one whole solid feature right here that is awesome 
These are things that I'm starting to learn and notice more now that I've been doing it a little bit longer and looking at different combos, looking at different genetics a little bit different, starting to see the, the subtle differences and they're standing out a lot more to me. Just the shapes of these alien heads, the way this looks like a, a woman's body right here. You got that figure eight. And you got this thing over here that's like some kind of crazy giraffe thing. And then this one that's separated from the bottom right next to it. And these crazy white flames coming up from the belly. And just the way that a lot of them are joining across the top. And not in just a straight banding kind of way. You got this like wavy, curvy way that they're connecting across the top. So it's not just straight banding. And then you've got that darkness around the alien heads that are really helping that contrast between the flames. And then you've got that wicked head stamp that looks like a reduced inchy head stamp almost on, on some kind of reduction words. Cool though, different from my usual taste of what I look for to try and show you guys here, so just switch it up on you a little bit. Eh? Eh? You wanna see another one? Did you guys see that? This thing freaking struck like a blood python and almost jumped right out of my hands. The opposite of how <laughs> a lot of my ball pythons are, this thing is ready to like attack. So again, it's another new gene and you can kind of see there's more of these little animal characters on the side the, the, with the two legs coming down to the belly and then another one of these wavy curvy look at this girl look at that how about the curves on that one it's like a kim kardashian and then again the way they just kind of the, the banding across the top isn't just straight bands because of the way the alien heads are you know it's the relationship between the alien heads and the way they come across the top and the spots where the darker part of the pattern comes into play you got that relationship and you also got this snake. Look at this snake is looking at me. Whoa! <laughs> this, this, this thing is on fire, dude. I've never seen a ball python so on fire. I'm just, I'm just not used to this. This thing like almost got me right in the face. Different. Ooh! Jeez! You gotta be on guard around here. Oh my god! Jeez! Okay, so this is the third one. I guess a new gene is like a wild caught retic. <laughs> But again, you got that really cool, wavy, these curvy, woman-shaped alien heads with the heavy black bordering the alien head. These little animal creatures coming in, the wavy banding caused by the wavy alien heads because of the relationship between the two, and then the snake queued up my face, snake ready to go at my face. Yeah, that's what's happening. These new genes are ready to go. It means they probably are really good eaters. Look at that head stamp. I feel like there's a, a logo that looks a lot like that head stamp. Look at that thing. Look at how symmetrical it is. It's very cool. I figured I'd switch it up on you guys a little bit since I'm always doing like a bunch of different crazy combos. Just do three of the same gene and just kind of try and break it down like a like a Jesse bit. I'm trying to I'm trying to summon my inner inner Jesse. Are you calling me? Yeah, where the hell are you? I was in there trying to explain the uh, the new gene to people. What are you talking about? I was trying to do a, a morph identification video, like a Freedom Breeder style morph identification video. I was trying to explain the, the new gene and how Please it works. Tell me we're really doing that. Oh, are we not supposed to do that? What are you doing? Hey, not not live, right? No, don't do anything live. You're just <laughs> around the whole thing about new gene. No, oh, we're not supposed to explain new no. gene. No, because I have it all labeled wrong and everything. Remember, I put it as a new gene. We proved it out here. We had two normals, and we proved it out here at our facility. Yeah. Name it something else. Okay. Yeah, Is it okay if I show the snake and not give it a name? I just like, explain like what's cool about it, what I like about it, the way the alien has looked. Yeah, like, can I show it on like video? Yeah. So, but is it okay if I'm showing the those physical snakes and just and I'll yeah, and I'll just care. bleep out like yeah. that? I everywhere well, I say you're new gene. Yeah, I realize there's all. The I'm not. I'm not going to show the tray. I, I the snakes. The tray's over there. Uh, Cam's yeah. over here. I come bring it to the camera, and I'll just be like. Yeah, but let's go eat. Be excited for the future. That's all. The, that's my point, right? Yeah. So I went and got ice cream. I did invite Jimmy. And he's upset now. Well, yeah, I, w I went looking for you. I'm sitting right here. You guys saw me. I was in the snake room showing you all those new jeans. Now I know I'm gonna bleep it. Just <laughs> You got the look. And, 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 and you, were... <laughs> you got the look. You did what? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? And you guys saw, Jimmy wasn't in there, right? I didn't see Jimmy anywhere in that room when I was, I came and then, yeah. So he's trying to blame me for him not getting ice cream. I like Lululemons. If somebody hadn't canceled plans on me for the third time in a row, maybe I'd feel a little different about it. So you're admitting that you ate, ate ice cream on purpose without me. And then you offer me those sugary delights to rot my teeth. 
in substitute of the Lulu ice cream. You guys, gotta, you guys gotta make sure you go watch the Freedom Beer channel and stick around for the bloopers because, uh, I mean, you wanna have a good time, right? No excuses. Beard Mike, for that great audio when you're driving down the road. If you wanna call this a beard, I don't know if you really call this a beard. We're gonna call it a beard just for fun. So we're headed to Todd Cornwell's place right now. Todd does rescue stuff and he's got all kinds of animals and I was trying to find out if he would prefer to do a Triple BTV episode or if he would prefer to do a vlog and based on what he said with the animals he had and how he's the laid-back type of guy I decided we'll do a vlog instead so it's still today for me and today is also gonna be tomorrow for you what you think about that we're gonna make this a two-part vlog and I'm gonna put the next one out tomorrow because you know what that'll help me put out content every day and I won't be able to come up with any excuses because I've got one day to film two vlogs what you think about all them apples hmm that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Maybe I should figure out where the hell I'm going before I start talking off all this stuff. Yeah, if you hit go, that'll probably help you hit the right direction, Brian. Ooh. Come on, lady. You gotta pull out, dude. Go! sit here all day long if you don't pull out. Holy crap. Anyway, glad that's over. One of my most aggravating places on the road. That's why I like this road trip most of the time because it's not really a whole lot of uh, people on the road, which makes my driving experience much more pleasant. Hi right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow at Todd's place. Woo! If it makes you happy, then why the hell are you so sad? Oh, traffic dog nuts. <laughs>